For outstanding achievement in nonprofit management, we honor Lynn Margerio, founder and CEO of Cradles to Crayons. With the conviction that if donating were easy, families would gladly pass on new or gently used children's items to families in need, Lynn launched Cradles to Crayons in Boston in 2002, and Lynn later expanded to Philadelphia and to Chicago. Annually, Cradles to Crayons provides nearly 250,000 children in poverty with essential items. And the organization's unique operating model encourages volunteers to fill 75,000 work shifts. Lynn served as a senior policy analyst on the White House Domestic Policy Council during the Clinton administration, and later served as executive vice president of the Clinton Foundation's HIV AIDS initiative, where she led international health care and policy teams. Lynn says a person who has inspired her is her three-year-old niece, who once presented her with a bag of lightly used toys for cradles to crayon and said, some kids don't have toys. I want to share. Lynn says that cradles to crayons is predicated on a child's empathy for another child they will never meet, and witnessing that power of empathy in her own niece was particularly inspiring. Lynn, in recognition of your commitment to ensuring that all children have the essentials they need in childhood to succeed, we're honored to present you with this 2018 Pinnacle Award. So if you could see yourselves, um, you would be truly amazed. Um, I am so grateful to all of you for coming out today and celebrating women and celebrating these amazing people who have been honored today and who, um, whose shoulders we stand on uh, as the um, as previous Pinnacle Award winners. I'm truly honored and humbled to be here today. I'm so grateful to all of you who have believed in the potential of Cradles to Crayons and who've given your time, your treasures, your talent to ensure that kids of all backgrounds have the essentials that they need to thrive. And especially my mom, who's here today from Michigan, for being my beacon and my source of strength since my childhood, and my husband Brian and my kids, who are a daily source of joy and love. In a world where we're bombarded with voices and pressures to divide and to conquer, we can and we must choose another path. A path of kindness and empathy of unity and inclusion, of possibility for all. We are all born with the ability to empathize. And we inherently know that it feels good to help one another. But how do we demonstrate it when we are so busy, when we lead separate, distracted lives and how can we demonstrate to our kids the importance of walking in another's shoes? Like a muscle, empathy needs to be flexed. It needs to be put into action. Leading the work of Cradles to Crayons over these past 15 years has taught me that volunteer service is a great way to do that. To date, we've welcomed more than 300,000 volunteers at Cradles to Crayons in Boston, in Philadelphia, and Chicago. And they have enabled us to provide over 1.2 million packages of clothing to children whose families otherwise would not have been able to provide them for them. I've seen firsthand the power of giving back and how it can build empathy and kindness, even among very young children like my niece. So please, 
Flex your empathy muscle by volunteering at one of the incredible nonprofit organizations we are so fortunate to have here in this great city. Or use your voice and your influence to help build workplace cultures that empower women, people of color, and other groups that are too often marginalized. What's important is that you find your voice and your opportunity to make a positive difference in the world. The words of Dr. Martin Luther King about 50 years ago ring as true for me today as they must have then. Everyone can be great because everyone can serve. Thank you.